Hello Sigmas and welcome back to another video of our video series on kinematics. And this is our third example of our video series on kinematics where we are going to look at some of the very weird features of relative velocity. So in this problem, as this uh, person stands still on the ground, its so velocity is equal to zero, then rain falls at an angle of 30 degrees to the vertical. As you can uh, easily see that if this angle is 30 degrees, then this angle would also be 30 degrees. So rain falls at 30 degrees to the vertical. But as soon as this person starts uh, moving with a velocity, let's say um, 10 kilometers per hour, then rain starts to fall vertically downwards like this. And this might look very weird at first sight, but actually this is completely normal and uh, we all experience this in our everyday life. Whenever you are traveling by a bike, you would see that normally when you're on the ground, then rain falls vertically down. But as soon as you start traveling in a bike, rain falls directly on your face, right? So this is completely normal, but what is the physics behind this? As soon as the person starts moving 10 kilometers per hour, then rain falls vertically and that would imply that the vertical, the horizontal component of the rain is equal to 10 kilometers per hour. Now don't freak out. You, I know that you are confused at this point how I can say that. But Im imagine this situation. Let's say you are in a car. This is your car and there is another car besides you right and you are traveling with some speed v and that other car is also traveling with the same speed right then what would happen if you if you look at the driver of the other car then you would feel that the driver is at it. Don't look at the car. I know that by common sense you know his car must also be moving since you are driving the car. But if you just look at the driver, then he travels along with you, right? You all cover equal distance in equal amount of time. That is what equal velocity means. And hence the relative velocity of your car with respect to his car would be zero. Due to which that person would appear at rest. This is the exact logic behind our rain problem, right? You, you have a horizontal velocity of 10 kilometers per hour. But as soon, and because of that, the rain seems to fall vertically downwards. That means that the horizontal component, this horizontal component of the rain, which is its component, if rain is falling in this direction with some speed v, then the component of this v along the x-axis, let's say if this is the x-axis, and this is the negative y-axis. Then the component of rain along the x-axis, this is the velocity of the rain. And the component of this uh, velocity, since this is 30 degrees, the component of this velocity along x-direction would be 10 kilometers per hour. That's why when you are traveling at 10 kilometers per hour, the, this component, the horizontal component seems to be zero, similar to this car analogy, right? Just like how if you and the other car is moving with the same velocity, the person seems at rest. When you are traveling at 10 kilometers per hour, the horizontal component of the rain, that is its component in the x direction seems to be zero because the rain's component in the x direction is equal to your velocity in the x direction and at this moment you might be feeling yeah that's not weird at all right so now our task is to find the velocity of rain with respect to ground so we have to find the question is to find 
the velocity of rain with respect to the ground. And the velocity of the rain with respect to the man as the man starts moving, right? This is how we have to find these after the man starts moving. So you can easily see that this vertically falling downwards is the velocity of the rain with respect to the man because as soon as it starts moving, it can only see the vertical velocity as I've uh, told you since the horizontal velocity with respect to the man is zero. So this component of the rain with respect to the man is zero. Right, Vx, I can call it that is zero because they both are traveling at the same velocity with respect to the ground, similar to this car analogy. So it has only the vertical component in the minus y direction. So velocity of the rain, let me call it Vrm with respect to the man is just equal to velocity of the rain with respect to ground, this V cos 30 degrees, right? It is this component of the velocity, this one, the vertical component. But we do not really know this V, right? So how do we find V? As I told you, the vertical component of this rain has to be equal to 10 kilometers per hour, which means that V sine 30 is equal to 10 kilometers per hour. So V is equal to 10 kilometers per hour divided by sine of 30 degrees and that is nothing but 20 kilometers per hour. So now since we know V, we can substitute this V in this equation, right? So we have found the first answer that is velocity of rain with respect to ground which would be equal to 20 kilometers per hour. V is equal to 20 kilometers per hour. And as soon as we substitute it in this equation, we get Vrm is equal to 20 cos 30. Cos 30 is what? Uh, root 3 by 2. So that would give us uh, 10 root 3 kilometers. And that finishes our problem. So uh, this might seem weird to you at first sight, but actually I've explained the physics to you and you can see that there is nothing really weird about it. It's all about velocity being a vector. If velocity was a scalar, then it would not behave this way. But since velocity is a vector, you can see how it behaves. And this is not at all like pseudo forces. Many people will confuse this with the pseudo forces. But this is not at all like the pseudo forces. Whether the man is stationary or just moving with a constant velocity, Newton's laws are valid in both the frames. But when, if the man is a no, in a non-inertial frame, it is accelerating, then Newton's laws will not be valid, which is a very crucial point. So this is not like pseudo forces. It's not that there is some kind of force which is making this rain fall vertically downwards after the man starts moving with 10 kilometers per hour. It is not at all like that. This is all about taking components of uh, this velocity and the uh, horizontal component of uh, both the man and the rain being equal due to which he cannot see the horizontal component of the rain with respect to the man becomes a zero because they have both have the same horizontal component with respect to the ground similar to this car analogy. And that's why it sees only the vertical component. So that's it guys. In this uh, video, I wanted to explain to you this uh, very interesting phenomena which happens uh, due to relative velocities and velocities of being a vector.
I hope you enjoyed the video and to motivate me to create more such interesting videos on such fun concepts of physics and real life examples don't forget to hit the subscribe button I will see you in the next video thanks for watching